dois, três, quatro. The other day, my girlfriend was having a bad day. She was like sad. She was telling me this. She was like, I am Asian. Uh, I'm Chinese and Puerto Rican. So I look like a Pokemon master. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are laughing. I did that show. I did that joke recently at a show, and this guy, no one laughed. And then after the show, this guy came up to me. He's like, "You Chinese and Puerto Rican?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm mixed race." He goes, "So you're Filipino?" <laughs> I'm like, "How does that make sense?" <laughs> yeah, doesn't Asian plus Spanish equal Filipino? <laughs> what am I, a math problem? <laughs> it's very weird. So my mom's Chinese and my dad's Puerto Rican, and they met in the weirdest way. They met in college, but my dad was my mom's professor. Yeah, so I'm the extra credit guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Mom came for an A, she got a D, that's what happens. <laughs> I, I do like being mixed race, it's pretty cool, um, but it's weird growing up mixed race. Like, And I still, to this day, don't really feel like I belong with either of my ethnic groups, you know? Like, for example, every time I go to like a Chinese function, I feel Puerto Rican. Every time I go to a Puerto Rican function, I feel Chinese. Every time I go to a white function, I feel poor, you know? Where do I go? But yeah, my girlfriend's mixed race. Uh, she's Indian and white, so she doesn't know whether to become a doctor or sue a doctor. <laughs> yeah, I love my girlfriend. She's great. She's Chinese and, uh, I'm Chinese and Puerto Rican. She's Indian and white, so our kids are going to be X-Men. <laughs> Anyone have kids here? Yeah? I can't wait to have kids with my girlfriend, dude. Kid's gonna be four races. It's gonna be an amazing baby. It's gonna have a lot of amazing traits, you know? It's gonna have Chinese work ethic, Puerto Rican pride, Indian leadership, and white privilege. Hell yeah! I can go places. She is lovely, uh, my girlfriend, very lovely. This is the most serious relationship I've ever been in. Are you two are dating? With that? Yes. Yeah. yeah, how long have you been together for? A year and six months. A year and six months. Um, is this the most serious relationship you've been in? Yeah. Nice. Have you guys met each other's uh, parents and stuff? Yeah. Nice, yeah. I met my girlfriend's parents uh, on Zoom. Because well I'm from California. And uh, it did not go well. I thought it'd be cool if I went on the Zoom meeting with a white claw. <laughs> yeah, drink hard seltzers, fuck with me. <laughs> and it totally backfired. As soon as I got out, her uncle chimed in. He's like, what? White Claw? They make those for men now? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this pussy, Shivani? <laughs> she met my mom in person, though. And it went well, but I did notice something weird. When they met, their voices changed. When my mom and my girlfriend, they met. They, they Mariah carried their voices. <laughs> Got really high and really cute out of nowhere. Hi, so nice to meet you. Oh my god, I love what you're wearing. I don't know how you stand, James. He's an idiot. I was just standing there thinking, like, how come I've never heard of these voices from either of you guys? Whenever they talk to me, they yell, they growl. They sound like Darth Vader when he talked to me. Do the dishes and shut up. Don't talk back. Isn't that crazy though? Like the closer we are to people, the worse we treat them. Everyone does this. The other day, my girlfriend was having a bad day. She was like sad. She was telling me, she was like, oh, James, I wish I had more friends. No one loves me. I was like, listen, baby, I'm your friend and I love you. She goes, oh, shut the fuck up. Right? <laughs> like, what? We live together. What? We did, we did, we do live together. We moved in during the quarantine. Fucking, anyone else make a mistake? You guys make a mistake? <laughs> oh. Did you guys live together? You guys live together? No, but we stayed together in quarantine. Nice. Did you guys start arguing and shit? Yeah. Oh, I guess bad, right? Yeah. Do you know, do you, how old are you? Do you know what I'm asking? The, the gentleman, no, this is, come on, I'm a, I'm a gentleman here, come on. I fucking drink white claws, I'm a gentleman. How, how old are you? Sorry. 21. 21? Oh, this is young, man. So, do you know how to argue? Have you learned how to... Does he, has he figured it out yet? He's getting there. Oh, uh, if you guys stick together long enough, you, we all find out, right? Here's my uh, my theory, I guess, or my strategy. I, I don't even defend myself anymore. I'm over defending myself. It doesn't fucking work. It's pointless. Girls always flip it on. Dude, I, 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 there was a scratch on her frying pan. My girl, did you use the fucking fork in the frying pan, asshole? <laughs> 
I'm like, no, I did it. She goes, you're fucking lying. I'm like, I swear to God I did it. She goes, oh, now you're yelling at me. <laughs> Why are you yelling at me? I'm like, I'm not the guy. I can't defend myself. She goes, oh, now you're distorting reality? I'm like, what? <laughs> Anymore. Now I just go, oh yeah, I must have fucking been on acid or something when I did that. Sorry. I don't, I don't do it anymore. You know what self defending yourself is in an argument with a woman, guys? It's like when a piano's falling and you just put your hands up to try to block it. <laughs> not gonna do shit. <laughs> yeah, we argue. Um, I think she loves me though. I think she still loves me. Yeah. <laughs> I read this article recently that said uh, if your significant other copies you and your mannerisms, that's a true sign they love you. And then the other day I saw my girlfriend muttering to herself, I hate myself. I was like, wow, she really loves me, huh? I think that's hell. She's great, though. Um, she's a neuroscientist at Columbia University, so I am not working in the future. <laughs> the other day she's like, you're a 10, baby. I'm like, yeah, you're a 401k, baby. Love ya. <laughs> I remember when she told me, our first date, she told me she was a neuroscientist. And I asked her how her, what she, how her day at work was. She goes, that's great. I'm like, what, what'd you do? She goes, I read some experiments on mice. And I was like, oh yeah, tell me more about that. She goes, well, I put a mouse to sleep. Then I injected its brain with a virus. And then I put a glass plate in its brain. And then I shined a light on, on the glass to see what part of the brain loaded in reaction to the virus. First date, she said this. I was like, oh, right, I better not piss this girl off, huh? <laughs> Can you imagine if I make her mad? I'm going to wake up with fucking AIDS and marbles in my brain. 